In this video, I'm going to talk about the sponsored brand campaigns for Amazon AMS for the author segment. I want to make this specific video just for my KDP authors out there. I do notice that a lot of the authors are not leveraging the sponsored brand campaign within their Amazon advertising tool set. So in this video, I will show you how to set up your Amazon sponsored brand campaign from beginning to finish to basically give a strong uplift to your titles. Hi, I'm Rick Wong, an Amazon seller and also the founder of Seller Metrics, an Amazon PPC agency. If you're actually like content such as this one where we do deep dives on anything Amazon related, I suggest you to subscribe. Okay, now, um, so I just wanted to make this quick videos on how to set up a sponsored brand campaign specifically for the authors. As I mentioned, a lot of authors uh, don't really leverage this uh, particular um, ad type to their advantage. I think it's also, it makes a lot of sense for authors to use it, especially if they have a catalog and titles of books within a particular niche. If you actually go into Amazon and do like a search, you can see the areas that sponsored brands occupies within the search is quite premium. So let's just say uh, I want to do um, mountain climbing. So you see if you have like uh, a set of books within a niche, you occupy like the first area, basically the first area above the fold and you basically can highlight a set of books, basically up to three books within your catalog, getting the premium placement within the search results. I feel like a lot of sellers are not using this and it's a great way to kind of uplift your sales. And um, I've kind of used this in a very um, successful way for one of my clients is uh, selling a bunch of books within the cooking niche. And you can see like a sponsored brand campaigns for this particular client does really well. Okay, so how do you create a sponsored brand campaign? So you're gonna click on uh, create campaign and sponsored brand campaign is basically the second selection right here. And for the sponsored brands, your ad is gonna be basically look like this, right? You get a tagline, you could use a tagline and basically select three titles for your advertising. So uh, for the campaign name, I'm gonna make, not make it super complicated. I'm gonna do SB and then I can say cookbook, right? Um, you could choose to like add it to like whatever portfolio that you choose. So if you're actually uh, creating a whole bunch of campaigns, I suggest you to use portfolio to your advantage. And I like to set my portfolio by the specific titles. And then you're gonna put like your campaign budget. Uh, I like to start with 20 and then you can select the author. So if you actually change and toggle authors, right? That would also update your list of uh, products, AKA titles. Uh, for that particular author. So I'm gonna select this author right here. So you can select up to three. So you could, uh, so take your, you're gonna basically follow this instruction right here, right? You basically need to select at least one product on your landing page, but uh, I suggest you select all three. Basically maximize your uh, marketability with like three assets right here. So basically you cover like a large section of the search result with three titles. So uh, let me select three. And then the last is a creative, right? So creative, um, so if you actually have like an author picture, you could actually use it. And then the author name, the headline. So um, here, uh, just a good tagline that is like very obvious and also um, very on point. Uh, you don't wanna make it uh, ambiguous. Okay, there we go, that's a simple title. Um, you know, I'm not an author, so I'm pretty sure authors that is like uh, watching this would have a much, uh, probably come up with a much better headline than me. So the products, okay, the next part, so targeting. So uh, you can actually select uh, target, uh, keyword targeting and product targeting. So for keyword targeting, uh, basically you're targeting a search term, kind of look like this. For um, product targeting, right, you select particular categories and also individual products as uh, individual titles that you want to target off of. So uh, keyword targeting is that you show up like this for the individual PAT targeting. Basically you would show up on the results uh, on a banner, like the, the basically the banner area of the product listing page like this, like this area right here, right? But right now it's occupied by um, 
Starbucks at the moment for this particular book, right? But uh, this is where the product targeting for sponsor brands would normally reside. So let's just put keyword targeting. I think like in my most cases, that is probably what uh, a lot of our authors would select. And that's what I would suggest to use if you want to start using your sponsor brand campaign. So you're gonna select keywords, select relevant keywords, right? Uh, so I would not um, add more than 100 targets. In my experience, uh, you don't want to add too much because you probably don't even have enough budget to basically uh, give enough impressions to all of them. Anyways, so let's just put Okay, these are very high bids, right? And um, I actually do not like Amazon suggested bid. What I like to do is set the bid uh, really low and then incrementally up them, right? Because if you actually uh, use a suggested bid, a lot of times your A cost will be like skyrocket and basically you're just gonna blow through your budget very easily. At the very least, if you actually get, uh, you know, put uh, low bids into them, right? And then incrementally, bid them up then it's probably much easier to kind of slowly build up your sales while suppressing your a cost so that is the way that i would go about it so you can see like all this like broad bid i like to set the broad bid as like as lowest amount so i put 20 cents for my broad bid and also another um, suggestion I would make that in terms of adding your keywords, I suggest not use um, anything less than two words uh, in your um, targeting, right? So for example, I would not say uh, target this one word right here. I would collect the two words together right here, right? At the very least, because if you actually like target one word, that would be too broad. And also a lot of times one word has a lot of search volume in it. And basically you could potentially like blow through your budget with just like targeting that one word. So let's just say, and then like for um, phrase, I would say 25 cents. And then for, lastly, for exact, I would pay like 35. Okay, so the next part is a negative keywords. If you so choose, right, if you actually know that what you don't want to target, right, for example, you're selling, um, you know, barbecue uh, cookbooks, right, for let's just say keto cookbooks, right, you don't want to target for. So you could actually click on phrase for any uh, keywords that includes keto in it, right, you don't want to target. Same with a negative, so exact, um, let's just say um, keto books, you don't want to target, so you don't want to show up for those customer searches that you could put in, in the negative search term. Very good way because the thing is that if you actually use broad and phrase match, actually mostly broad, right? There are situations that you could probably target for a particular term that you don't want to target for. So by doing the negative, right? You're just preventing your ads showing up for irrelevant traffic. So if you actually know your audience inside out what they're searching for, very good way for you to kind of um, zero in on your target. So uh, you're gonna submit and then review, done. And then you are, um, basically Amazon is gonna moderate for 72 hours. And then once that's done, it is gonna go live. Okay, so uh, what do we do after we create these um, sponsor brand campaigns, you are gonna optimize them. So I'm gonna give you an example of how I normally optimize it. So in my account right here, my target A cost around 40%, right? So basically our target is trying to get our um, A cost to around 40, right? So any targets or any keywords that is above 40, we're gonna bid down while any keywords that is below 40, we're gonna bid up a little bit to make sure that we continue to be competitive. So this is our sponsor brand campaign. So first of all, we are going to stop the bleeder. Actually beforehand, we actually need to set our um, date range. My suggestion to set the date range for the last 60 days. So let's just say today's the 20th, I would actually roll it back to March 20th and then press 20th, May 20th here. Why I want to do this? Because a lot of times performance within targets are not always consistent, right? You're not always going to get um, every single day the same clicks, the same sales. But if you actually uh, lengthen the time span, right, everything would be even out. The average orders, the average sales per day would be an X amount. So that's why you want to like expand your date range to around 60 days. So now the first thing that we're going to do, we are going to eliminate bleeders. Bleeders are basically targets where you are making X amount of clicks, but no orders whatsoever. So how I'm going to do this, I'm going to go to filter, anything clicks that are greater than seven. 
orders equals to zero, you are going to be a very aggressive in bidding these down. So I'm going to adjust the bid here and lower it to the minimum. So I believe the minimum is uh, 20 cents. Let me double check that. No, it's actually lower than that. So let's actually be even more aggressive. Let's adjust the bid to like five cents because we don't want any impression on these keywords. Okay, must be 10. Okay, let's do it to 10. Okay, so these are our bleeders. Seven or more clicks with zero orders last 60 days. We don't want to like put any impression on them anymore. The next thing is that we want to really be aggressive in down bidding anything that A cost is above 100%. So anything that's greater or equal to 100%. Oh, nothing is uh, above that. Okay, let's uh, do less than 100% and then greater than uh, greater than uh, or equal to 75%. Let's see if we have anything on that. National Geographic. And also, we also make sure that it clicks, right? It has to be greater than seven clicks, right? Because again, uh, if you uh, if it's too little clicks, you cannot make a decision because of the statistical significance. If it's too little clicks, too little data, it's really hard to make an informed decision. But in this case, we have 43 clicks, one sale, and the A cost of 90%. So maybe in this case, I think we could form a very well data informed decision, right? To really bid this a lot lower. So let's see what the cost per click here is. Okay, 20, uh, 27 cents and um, this is uh, 28 cents. We want to bid it down very aggressively at this point. Adjust bid. So we're going to decrease bid by 50% here with basically a very close to our minimum of 10 cents. Now we are going to uh, go for anything that is less than less than equal to uh, 75 while uh, greater than 50% ACOS. These are higher than above ACOS right but not so high that is above 75 so these ones you want to be not too aggressive just spit it down like maybe adjust it decrease back down to like say like 30 percent now you're going to go uh, a bit above your target a cost of 40 so that would be anything that is around less than 50 and uh, greater than say 40 right this is the bit above our uh, a cost okay seems like nothing is actually um actually like within this range that is greater than seven clicks so next we are going to do an up bid on keywords that are doing really well for us to make sure that we continue to be competitive a lot of times uh, these really low a cost um, keywords they're low because the bid is a little too low but they're making a lot of sales for you so we make sure that you consistently being competitive for these keywords to make sure you are consistently making sales off these keywords so next thing i am going to lower so yeah lower this to um 40 less than 40 percent but i'm gonna say that orders greater than one right so these are making at least two sales for you a cost less than your target a cost in this case i like to bid it up right so let's just increase the bid by percentage by 20 percent right these are your money makers so you want to make sure that these get consistent impression so you want to bid over the top a little bit for this particular set of keywords so this is how i really would optimize my sponsor brand campaigns but it requires some patience right you can see like from time to, from like whenever i started this campaign right the impressions and spends has been kind of low and then it becomes scales up in basically month number two so you there's some patience that's required when you are creating a sponsor brand campaign wait for data to come in what i did was that every single week i incrementally increased my bids right to get additional clicks and then once i get data where i can actually make a decision i could do my optimization that i just showed you right now additional thing is that you could do is that you could set your campaign setting rules what i like to do sometimes is actually set the automate bidding to true basically it would uh, automate your ads a little bit but in my experience it doesn't really help much so i kind of um, can't really attribute the positive results by using this uh, particular selection but i just select it anyways uh, and then also the budget rule, right? So you see like I minimized my budget to 20 to start, but let's just say this campaign does really well and really wants to scale up. So I could actually click on add campaign budget. I could tell it that if it hit a cer certain performing threshold, 
increase the budget spending, right? So in my case, I'm going to say, so let's just say what well, I can select here, uh, ROAS, right? So let's just say if ROAS is greater than 2.5, right? Greater than equal to 2.5, which is pretty high, which is around like 30% or so. I want to increase my uh, budget by 50%. Or it could be a top of search metric. If the top of search is less than a certain amount, let's just say it was a ranking campaign. If the top of search, basically the percentage of um, our ad showing up on the top of the search result is less than a certain percentage, we could tell it to increase the budget as well. So you can add a budget, um, add a rule right here. And yeah, that's done. On top of also optimizing the bids of my target within my sponsored brands, I'm also optimizing the budgets within the campaign as well. Uh, Amazon PPC optimization is not a bid down bid game, but it's also a budget management game. Basically you want to allocate more budget to the stuff that is doing well and basically take away the resources from the campaign that are not doing well. Uh, very obvious, but sometimes that's not done. Anyways, I hope that uh, you know, this video will really show you how um, you could properly set up your sponsored brand campaign with your Amazon AMS console. So for authors that are not doing this, give this a try. If you have a set of titles, you know, that are related within a particular niche is a perfect situation for these campaigns. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you are an Amazon author that is looking to scale your business with Amazon advertising, feel free to uh, schedule a call with me. I'd love to talk to you to see how we could actually grow your business together using Amazon ads. Until the next video drop, happy selling.